welcome to day 17 of our cycle trip. This is a nice way to start the day, nice and cool. We left at 8 this morning, we're trying to avoid that heat that we had yesterday. So in France it's very important to wear your mask. We're just cycling along, talking about coffee to Mike and a bunch of bugs just flew down my throat. Little buggers, so I'm wearing my mask from now on. Jean. <laughs> Mike said I want a protein. How beautiful is this this morning? It's just so perfect today. It's good getting out earlier, it's just not as hot. It's still probably about 25 degrees, which we'd consider hot in New Zealand, but after sweltering a 35 degree heat yesterday, it feels cool. Lovely. Perfect. Impressive chateau up ahead. It's going to get a photo. Quite so hot today, it's a bit of a breeze, bit of cloud cover, but it's still probably about 35. I think it was a lot hotter than that yesterday. I'm gonna push it on a little bit. It's gonna be 38 tomorrow, 41 the next day. So we thought we'd head for tour and have a couple of days in a city in a nice hotel, nice air conditioned hotel. so hot our Snickers bars have melted. Ugh. I'm sure it'll still taste good. Welcome to day 19 of our cycle tour. We're on our way to tour today. We woke up beside this beautiful river this morning. It's not the Loire but it runs alongside it. And we're going to follow this this morning on our way to tour. So come along, it'll be fun. What a beautiful morning, it's just stunning, clear blue skies, the river is still, little flowers growing in the wheat. Bonjour. It's just magical. Song, if I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper. Would it make it this grand moulin was built in 1600s and it's got an amazing sliding mechanism which allowed the wheel to go up and down depending on the river level, so it could work all year round. And up there, Mike informs me those clumps are actually mistletoe. I don't think I've ever seen mistletoe before. So beautiful through here, and just stopping to see little things like that mill, it was really neat. Little things you might miss if you're going real fast, which we aren't. We arrived in Tor after a short 17 kilometer cycle ride, checked into our hotel, had a shower, and went out for dinner. Neither of us had any idea what we were ordering, and I ended up with raw fish, and Mike had a snail. After dinner, we went for a walk and took in the nightlife of Tor. Wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine. Wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine. Wanna move my feet, wanna drink my wine. 
We're going to do a tour of tours, and you might wreck, and you might get me spouting lots of horrible facts at you. But they'll be interesting facts. So come along; it will be fun, and you will enjoy it. So just on our left here is the chateau of Tours, and now we're just heading down to a church that Mike's going to tell us about. Oh wow. So you think your house is taking too long to build? This little baby behind me took 400 years. Started in 1100 and wasn't finished until the 1500s. Yes, that's a whopping 400 years to build. But look, it's a magnificent example of medieval architecture. Can we go inside? Yeah, we can go inside. Woo Almost makes you want to go to church. Almost. It amazes me that in the 1100s, or 1400s even, that the people were mostly illiterate, yet there's people that knew how to build buildings like that and know how much foundations to put underneath them to support all the weight of that stone. And it just amazes me. There must be some sort of superior being that's passed on that information. There's a really interesting um, series of books by Ken Follett called Pillars of the Earth. It's worth reading. It, it sort of goes through this series of building the cathedrals with the masons and stuff. It's really interesting. Wow, these are some seriously old buildings right here in the old town of Tor. here at the moment France is going for a heat wave so we decided not to cycle in it that's why we're staying in a hotel for two nights so it's uh, 9 30 in the morning uh, it's 30 degrees already last night at 10 p.m. it was still 30 lovely though the Hotel de Ville was designed by renowned local architect Victor Lalou and was completed in 1905 magnificent building inside and out I'm not sure whether we can get inside but the outside is just stunning he also designed the railway station which we're going to see next So we're just down at the train station taking some photos. We had to leave there early. I've only just stopped shaking. So Mike had gone off to do a vlog somewhere and I was taking some photos of the railway station. When I stopped, this, this girl was standing there and she was just targeting me. It's like a cat and she was like eyeing me up and I tried, you know, I, I could see she wanted to rob me or something. So I sort of tried to step to my left, she went. I stepped to my right, she followed. I stepped backwards, she was coming towards me. I was thinking, I could turn around and run, but I think that would just prompt her. <laughs> then I saw Mike over his shoulder, I said, Mike! And then Mike comes running over and he yells at her and gives her this look. Once Mike got with me, she just went off and did her own thing. But but she she scowled, eh, when you turned up? She had yeah, a real scowl. She, got, she was like, almost like, like you can see her swearing. Mike, why do you stop me? You know, yeah, yeah. who are you to stop me from attacking oh, this person? Man, it was, it was scary. So we left there. I said, that Mike wanted to go back out and film. I said, no, I'm not coming back out there. She's scary. I mean, she's probably got a knife. Just don't know what might happen. Thing is, I didn't have a flashy camera or anything. I was just filming with my phone. So wherever you are, just keep an eye out on who's around you. I've done so much traveling on my own and I've never had this problem before, so weird. Just arrived at our campground and we're camping on an island. 